Guess who's back? Guess who's back? You know, ah, why does copyright have to be so strict? That would have been the perfect intro. Guess who's back? The doctor is back. And he's a changed man. But we talk about that in a bit. First of all, um, yeah, he was gone. Why is that so? Well, I was on a vacation. As you know, I was in Spain. And, um, yeah, Spain. <laughs> Yes, Spain, beautiful Spain, Viva España, you know, <laughs> where I visited beautiful beaches such as the famous Trafalgar Bay. the British fought the Spaniards and the Frenchies and pretty much founded their empire, right? Rule Britannia, Britannia rule the waves. Yeah, Trafalgar Square, you know, Nelson, ring some bells. It was right there. It's a beautiful beach. And I was chilling there, you know, catching some waves here and there. But mainly, I was just chilling. Also, I got to ride a really, really cool, cool, cool vehicle. So check it out. It's a bit of a longer clip, but totally worth it. Baboom! <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, there it is, guys. A 59 Impala. Look at that. Ain't she a beauty? Ooh, baby. Now we're gonna take a first spin. <laughs> All right, so we're inside now, guys. So yeah, Matthias bought this car uh, a while ago, and yeah, there's still a lot of work to be done. You know, he's working on the interior and so on. It's a, it's a never-ending project, but yeah, it's just a beautiful car. And one thing that really stands out, like when you sit in an old car like that. I mean, that's a '59 Impala. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, then, you know, it just becomes apparent how yeah, how heavy and, and what good manufacturing in these cars. You know, this dashboard, you know, this dashboard here is metal. And yeah, that's the, the steering wheel and so on, you know. Some gauges need to be replaced, some minor fixes and, and so on. You can have a look from the outside again. Um, wait, let me get out real quick. So yeah, you can see original rims, everything there. They're really rare, the 59 uh, Impalas. I mean, Impalas you can get still, but 59s are rare. Um, but still, um, for this car, you get most of the spare parts still easily. Every bolt, um, you know, is available for that one. Yeah, and it's the body is in really good shape already. I mean, it needs a little bit of bodywork still and so on. and yeah but it was here in Spain you know it's not much rain so the rust also is not so bad or anything like that yeah it runs on Red Bull as you can see 
<laughs> you know, just throw some Red Bull in there and fly it's away. The Chichi Chong car. Yeah, the Chichi Chong car. Epic. Epic. Oh, come on, man. Even if you are not a car enthusiast, a 59 Impala is something that is just, ah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful from an engineering standpoint, design standpoint. It's just a cool, you know, classic piece. And I'm glad, you know, Matthias is preserving one of these. And yeah, we were cruising about um, and for the first time I did something you would call car posing, I guess, because, you know, it's kind of a funny story. We drove to that beach uh, in El Palmar and then Matthias started to drive down the beachway, you know, the, the front uh, beachfront there. And then it's like, okay, where are we going next? Well, let's turn around. So we turn around after, after we drove all the way down and we drove back again. And it's like, all right, cool. Now where are we heading? Uh, let's go one more time. And then I realized, oh, what we're doing is we're actually driving up and down the thing and showcasing the car. And then I realized <laughs> the reactions of the people, like everybody, and I'm not exaggerating, maybe not everybody, but almost everybody who saw the car really had a smile and you know pointed at it and commented at it. And then we parked at a cafe and drank a cappuccino which I normally don't drink, so after that coffee I was really hype. Ugh, couldn't sleep. Anyways, then, you know, we sat up on the terrace and then, you know, there was literally a group of 50 people gathering around the cars, taking pictures and admiring it. So, yeah, it's a really a classic uh, special piece and it's cool that people enjoy a car like that. Like, you know, I've never driven with somebody with a car like that and the uh, uh, reactions of the people were crazy well so to make it short you know i enjoyed something that is called real life but as you see not only did i enjoy real life i also did some work um, but you wonder wait a minute didn't you say you're just gonna be away for 10 days and then there was a week and there was no hermit craft what happened well two reasons first of all i caught no let's start a different way First of all, so I'm there in vacation and then I heard and hear the news, yo, 1.14 coming out. And I was like, what? 1.14 coming out? Why? There, this is, there's so many issues in the latest uh, snapshots and everything and in the pre-releases. They can't release this. No, 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 wait, why? I was like, hmm, well, okay then. After I came over the first shock, which was, we talk about it in a bit, um, not uh, you know just freaking out it was a real concern so when we uh, or when i get over got over there I was like all right cool i'm hype when i'm coming home i'm gonna you know check things out and gonna go hardcore 114 and explore and i want to build a, a pillager farm and i want to exploit things i know about and you know i was like yes maybe it was also the cappuccino i drank but i was really hype and you know check the discord and i see the plan is 114 comes out we wait a day and then we update it's like all right cool okay 114 must be ready to release so i come home and then i find out that there's a 114 drops and there's some dampered enthusiasm in the group to update it's like hey what's going on and then we find out well there is at the moment uh, the way they released it um, it's really there is uh, severe issues with 1.14 performance wise um, um, especially when you do YouTube videos you, you know if you normally want to play I think you give it a shot there, there is some crazy bugs in there but you know you can have fun with them but for us recording here it's a bit uh, uh, brutal if the chunk loading client side is broken at the moment and it's terrible you cannot really you know you cannot explore the new terrain and find the new stuff when you cannot see the chunks loading in right so we decided then okay then wait and that kind of threw me off completely so what i did is i live streamed and pretty much finished um project um yeah piston bolt in the netter here as you can see um, that we just uh, did this yesterday we finished it up with uh, a sky now and i i dude man this guy it was this the most difficult bit about it thinking about how we're gonna do this 
And this now turned out so great, you know, with the help of the chat, we figured it out. Look at it, man. You know, here we have a bit of darker clouds and we just used the ice everywhere, right? Iced out the whole sky, so it's blue skies and then clouds. And then there's some dark clouds brewing over the witches and hookah smoking Joe, right? And then there's less clouds over the deserts and warmer areas. And back here where we have jungle and so on, so more desert show up. And I really think this ties it together. We finished the walls in the back here, you know, everything. Um, it's looking smooth now, did the same thing on the other side with the elevator uh, that leads up so that's super baller, it looks amazing. I'm very proud about this build. Normally I'm not a guy that goes around and says like, oh my builds are great. But come on, for this one I can get some credit. This is, it was a lot of work. We added the last few remaining um, hermits, I think. We got them all um, now. We have a little Wells Knight here now too. And yeah, he's cooking up sand with his glass shop. That was his biggest business um, on the server. So we used uh, one of the mini furnaces there. And then let me think. Oh yeah, we added a little python back here and he had to have, you know, a flower pot with him and he's picking flowers from a flower pot here <laughs> in the crazy forest. I think that fits well. Uh, then um, we added cup fan too up here. And Cup Fan is angrily and it, it fits really nicely with his skin, you know, he's pointing over the angry old man. It's like, oh, look at them, the, the, the Sahara guys, you know, and this, this is like, this represents a little bit the competition that goes on between Concorp and Sahara. So we even killed the Vex to maybe make a mini Vex, but sadly uh, it would not really fit proportionally. Uh, maybe I hide a little Vex somewhere back in there, poking out from somewhere or something. Um, it would be fun. I mean, we have we have the Vex head um, right there. And then uh, lastly, I also added Biffa here with a fishing rod because I think that um, fits pretty well. You know, as he is yeah, pretty much, uh, you know, known for the AFK fishing in the beginning of the season always, right? So that's pretty cool. So yeah, you know, uh, finish this and um, yeah, now we have to do the upper bit of the piston bolt. And yeah, about that 114 thing. So now uh, pretty much um, that really, really um, stopped my plans. You know, I was like, first I was like, no, really already 1.14? I wish they would take more time. I, I know there is some serious issues with it, performance and bug wise still. Why don't they, why do they rush it out? Then I was over this and I was like, all right, you know, let's, uh, I'm ready, let's go. I'm, I, I'm gonna have to do some epic stuff, I have some epic ideas. And then all my enthusiasm got dampered because nobody uh, wanted to update on the server anymore and was like, nah, uh, let's screw it. it. It makes sense, right? So now we're waiting and then the worst thing happened. Anno. I caught a severe case of Anno 1800ism. Dude, that was nuts. I'll show you a screenshot real quick. So it says 131 hours now, right? In one week, when the game came out, I put 129 hours <laughs> into freaking Anno 1800 because, you know, I love Anno. I love Anno, the, the, the series. I played Anno games like since I can think, from since they ever came out, and I always loved them and played the heck out of them and when they came out. And there I, I caught the severest case of Anno. This game is really, really good. And I played it like crazy. And I have a crazy perfect world with over 10,000 investors created. If you play the game, <laughs> you know what that means. It's, it's not easy to achieve and it's like spread out on four islands and whatnot. I totally went crazy. I can show this world off, by the way, if you want. Uh, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll do a quick video just showing the, the Anno world if you want to wanna know about it. It's pretty, pretty bizarre. <laughs> So, anyways, um, yeah, the, the severest case of Anno, um, you know, and then in combination with the update kind of being stalled because of the issues I just told you about, I kind of thought, okay, it's cool, let's just play Anno, man. <laughs> it was crazy, I'm so happy. And then finally, when I reached these 10k investors, I, it was like, I, boom, 10k reached, I could start the World Fair in the biggest major scale, get the most epic loot, and I was like, okay, I'm done, I'm cured. Ah, so cured. Talking about cure. Well, talking about the cure. Some of the vigilant observers might have seen what the heck is dog wearing. 
<laughs> Wait, what? What's your problem? You know, peace out, my friend. Peace out. When I was there in Spain, um, there was a lot of very, very, very cool people. Hippies. <laughs> you know, it's an old hippie colony as well in the area I lived there and or was there in Conil. And that's where some sandals of solidarity for them old hippie brothers. Um, <laughs> yeah, those people there, they were really cool. They had some really good insights and attitudes and, and whatnot. And it re uh, inspired my vigor um, to go back to the roots and become more rage and, um, you know, more hippie. Whoop, I, I broke the carpet there. That's not in the sense of a peaceful hippie uh, mood. So I went through a little bit of a transformation when I was there on my vacation. I really thought, yeah, this is this massive capitalism we got going on on the server. This is crazy. And I really thought, yeah, I need to bring back the NHO spirit, nature and health organization. This crazy, outrageous capitalism here on the server gets out of hand. We need to go back to the roots, nature, love, peace. And believe it or not, my brother from another mother surprised me with this. Hello, hello. I totally hey forgot man. I had you I had everything muted. <laughs> That's okay, man. What's the problem? You sound Man you lost I like need a, you in, I, I need you near the Trident shop, man. <laughs> What's going on? I just I just need to have a chat with you, man. Um, all right. All right. I'm on my, my way. Man. Yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> all right, man. You sound I'll see weird. You. I'll see you in a second, man. Are you Are you good? <laughs> I'm 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 real good, man. I'm I'm real. I just got me a a great pair of new sandals, man. What? <laughs> well, let's go. Okay, wait. I'm coming. I, my uh, toes are feeling so good in these sandals, my man. <laughs> Damn. Dude, you know that I'm live streaming to two and a half thousand people right now, right? <laughs> I I know, man. Okay, I know. Okay, the more yeah, people, just... the better, man. Okay, okay. I got a message for you, Doc. A very serious message, man. What the heck's going on, man? Very serious message, man. <laughs> I'm con I'm concerned. Okay, I'm I'm almost there. My we should all be concerned, man. We should all be concerned, Doc, my man. What the. <laughs> What? Hi. Hello, Doc. Welcome to my protest, man. I'm oh. protesting <laughs> right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the this problem? Is the, this what? is the new headquarters of the Hermit Hippie Collective, man. Dude, I'm having check out, my, check out my sandals, man. Uh, epic, dude. I'm having flashbacks to my vacation. You want to send me some flowers? You know. Well, the problem that we've got right now, my man, what? is that big industry is starting to take over the server, man. And it's doing some serious damage, man. Some serious damage. <gasps> Bro. Man. So, I've set up my party bus. Trying to keep the sludge out of Hermit Island, man. Dude. I'm protesting, man. I'm protesting. You, this... can, you can read our manifesto over here, man. Dude, you don't have to talk, bro. I'm in. Go green or go home. Uh -huh. The Hermit Hippie Collective yeah. is protesting against the dangerous environmental damage being done to Hermit Island by big industry. Down oh. with big industry, man. Support Down. the cause by purchasing a pair of fine organic woven sandals today. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Wait, what? I, I gotta pay the for the fuel, for the van, man. Uh, so, you can, you know, if you got a, you got some spare change, man, for some sandals, my man. Um, that would be great. Didn't bring any yeah. money. Um, I'll. I'll... <laughs> okay. So all of this just to sell some sandals no no man it's not about the sandals it's no. about the sludge my man it's about the sludge <laughs> look hell. at the sludge yeah it's, i see it bro it's a problem man oh this this slime in between my toes right now man oh this is awful look, please dog if you got some loose change my man listen I, i've only got another kilometer of petrol my dude i need a little bit of loose change yeah man. okay okay i need to get it from wait 
Okay, I'll man. I'll, I'll be I'll be here. I'll, I'll be here at the <laughs> at my <laughs> protest. Okay, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Yep. It's clear, chat. If you're listening, I need a hip M seventy seven uh, skin. <laughs> Give me some flowers. Um. Um. Wait. Did you put our diamonds away, Ren? Not yes, hippie, man. Ren. Down into where? Did uh, oh, hey, Doc. What's up, man? Yeah, where? Well, hey, um, yo, um, I'm over here at the stock exchange, bro. Where's the diamonds? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put I, I put them away in, in the, the vault. Uh, no, it's in the office in one ah. of the uh, one of the drawers in the office. Hey, how's it going, Doc? How you doing, my dude? Sweet well? vacation was great, dude. <laughs> I just met this super yeah, strange hippie dude somewhere around the shop. Did you see him? Oh, jeez, those hippies, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. You know, when I was in vacation, there was there was hippies yeah. galore everywhere. I mean, they were mm -hmm. cool. You know, they had a hippie market. And listen, man, where where there's environmental damage, there's hippies. You know, it yeah. just comes hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, stuff with them. But they, you know, seemed like a cool dude. But in the end, I think he just wanted to sell them. Oh. Uh, it's always the Typical. same, you know. He goes on this rant forever about sludge and environment, and then he wants to sell me some crappy sandals and goes on about he needs fuel and stuff. If he's so eco, you know, wh why is he not riding a donkey? I mean, come on. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm watching an episode of Friends over here, my dude. Just, uh, it's quite funny, you know, just oh, laughing. <clears throat> yeah, no, dude, I'm with you. I mean, it's just unacceptable behavior, really. Yeah, you know, no, I'm gonna have to check this out. I mean, we might have to lodge a complaint. Yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, what's going on on the server here? Do we have hippie bums hanging out now, uninvited? I mean, is the whitelist open? What's up with that? Sizuma is so weird, man. <sighs> yeah, uh, you know, it. I don't know, man. Like, all, all I know is that um, things are starting to kick off on the server. I understand, you know, as soon as big industry gets involved, yeah. that always brings people out. You know, there's money to be made all over the show. Uh, you know, environments get damaged, Doc. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's I, the same I, thing. I, I get it, man. I get it, you know. Hey, dude, what's up? I'm back. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, man. I was just, uh, I was just, um, <clears throat> packing some s stuff away, man. Yeah, listen, man. If you, know what, if you know what I mean, man. Take this. There, there's, there's cops around here, man. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's, that's going to give me another kilometer of fuel. Thanks, man. No worries. Thanks, dude. man. And you know what? I support the cause, and yeah. I need, I need, uh, shoes anyways to make my mini helmet. Oh. So I'm buying three pairs, bro. How about that? Oh man, hmm? that's amazing, Ooh. man. Rad, random callers. Please be with you, man. No Please worries. be with you, man. No worries. I yeah. support the cause. I totally, you know, yeah. I would never, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I really, I really, uh, I need to think of a plan how we can support it. I, I get it, you know. I was slacking yeah. a bit. Mm -hmm. I was on vacation and then the Sahara thing is coming up, like, oh. you know, big time. Oh man, I, I'm Dude. feeling kind of, kind of sleepy, man. Yeah. Uh, I may have uh, I may have uh, overdone it if you know what I mean. I'm just going right, to go right, right. I'm going to go sleep, man. All right. Yo, thanks for the diamonds, man. All good. Um, going to take a nap too. See you later, bro. Hang in there, right? Man, guys. Crazy stuff here happening on the stream. Who is this hippie dude, man? What the hell's going on, man? <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> looks like, you know, there's some hippie slacking going on right now on the server. Guess we fit right in, you know, fits to our new spirit I caught up uh, there <laughs> in Spain. <laughs> hmm. You know, I haven't had time to, to talk to the dude again, I don't think he's around. But I have to say, dude, for a hippie, this guy... Has quite the posh RV, dude. It even has a stereo. Hmm. I don't know. This doesn't look so anti capitalism to me. I don't know if this can be fully trusted. We know the only real nature organization, you know, that really cares for nature, right? It's the NHO. I mean, I was in a, you know, in some trouble with these guys, right? It's a start. I knew they were polluting. Oh, look at that. The sludge is gone. Hmm. That went quick. Hmm. All suspicious. Hippie slackers. Well, you know, I was not slacking. Um, if you are into Game of Thrones, you know, um, there was a nice opportunity coming up to me as well. It was also on vacation. 
and um, let me quickly take a nap here I don't want to blow up this RV so uh, I'm chilling on the beach and the management of in extremo calls me um, you know and there's also the people that organize the Wacken festival a music festival and go like hey dog in extremo made a super cool cover of the game of thrones intro song you wanna you know make a video about that with minecraft maybe and get it as the only person in the world on your channel it's like yeah cool nice if you do that lifelong free entrance to the wacken festival it's like um dude i'm still drunk from yesterday from the gin <laughs> yes i'm in so um if you want, you can check the video out. Of course, there's no spoilers in there or anything. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a, a more yeah, middle-aged metal-themed cover of the Game of Thrones intro song, and it's pretty cool. We made some some epic, you know, camera movements and thanks, to, um, you know, maps we found um, by um, oh, what's the, what's what's the guy's name? Pixel Bloxy. And then all the links are definitely in the video description. I also joined the Patreon of the guy who made all the cool maps to support him a little bit for his work. And yeah, um, really, really cool cinematic video, nice to watch. And yeah, the clouds are turned on um, because yeah, I was picking up how clouds kind of look in Minecraft because you always turn them off uh, because yeah, they're normally in the way of the build height here. Um, in most cases. So yeah, um, I turned them on to see how they look uh, so we can recreate the heaven kind of in hell in the nether and yeah Now we're gonna finish the piston bolt upstairs and hopefully you know the, the guys uh, in the Mojang offices get um, their stuff together quickly and release a quick fix at least for the chunk loading stuff with 14.1 and then we can rapidly update here on the Hermitcraft as well and yeah I'm, I'm kind of in the 1.14 mode now you know I don't want to start a bigger project here in 1.13 before being sure it also works in 1.14 again it's kind of a limbo so like, fingers crossed you know those guys at uh, Stockholm update quickly and we can update here too and then explore the new um, server world how it will be after the changes in 1.14 I mean this will be quite different right so anyways that's the kind of crazy I'm um, welcome back episode of all kinds of info I hope I caught you up well um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, I sure enjoyed to do it because it was something a bit more yeah, out of the ordinary, right? To, to the normal Hermitcraft episodes. And I'm looking forward to give you more cool episodes in the future. So fingers crossed, the like for 14 want to come out quickly. See you very soon. Bye bye. Peace out. <laughs>